talk about yes i do have a big gripe on their release date and i also want to talk about something we should expect and something we need before buying any of these action figures right here now we got the ultimate edition Shawn michaels dx uh, legends revealed from mattel this was 2024 comic con this year we're gonna be seeing wrestlefest hopefully very soon and yeah this dx Shawn michaels is not really a bad figure i don't have anything bad to say about this action figure at all um some things we definitely need to see is the dx t-shirt that's a must-have we see um the hat i think that's just one hat i don't know if it's multiple it wouldn't really make sense i mean if they added different decals i guess it wouldn't be that bad but it's still all around a great ultimate edition oh my goodness finally we're getting the hulk hogan ultimate edition it's about time yeah we t-shirts uh but we also have this billy gun it's kind of weird and interesting how billy gun is still getting action figures after being in aew for i don't know how long for years to come and yeah we're still getting getting billy gun action figures and uh, I'm pretty sure you can make his tag team partner just by changing any uh, head sculpts. I'm pretty sure they rock the same type of gear. And it's kind of weird. We're not seeing a tag team being released in the same series. But I'm pretty sure this figure was released with a lot more um, head scans, accessories, etc. He comes with the green mist, which is very cool. But yeah, I have nothing to say about any of these legends so far. Now, this looks like Post Malone. Now, this is anybody see Post Malone? I don't see the Godfather. This is kind of a goofy look for the Godfather that we are seeing. I don't have too much to talk about because this is just a uh, um, 3D printed visual on this Godfather. But yeah, just looking at him, he comes with the cane. Uh, we're not seeing anything cloth from this figure at all. We're seeing the Godfather chain. This is a regular Elite um, Legends that was released at Comic Con 2024. It comes with the glasses, the hat as well. But yeah, I really don't like the head scan at all. The tattoos, everything just looks very well. I'm definitely, if I buy this figure, I'm going to be keeping those glasses on. And he's going to be sitting on display. Um, but yeah, we also are going to be receiving Carlito. Now, Carlito, we've seen him. We've seen his newest elite. Uh, a lot of people are receiving that newest elite of Carlito, the George Lopez um, with the uh, mustache and afro, if you will. But now, Carlito, it's getting better. It's getting better for Carlito. I will say that we're not seeing any uh, bitten apple parts um, as far as... Uh, Carlito what he has in his hand it just seems like a whole apple that's just gonna be distributed in his action figure so Mattel that is something to look at uh, Mattel also please release this uh, Carlito with the Hawaiian shirt and the United States championship that is something that I think will be very cool release with this Carlito he also comes with the uh, chain um yeah everything on this figure looks pretty cool the head scan it's uh kind of too baby-ish I don't know I'm getting cabbage patch kid it's a it's looking a lot like a Cabbage Patch Kid, but we need a Hawaiian shirt and United States Championship with a bitten apple. Finally, we're receiving a perk angle. Finally, it's about time. I don't know how many times Mattel released Kurt Angle um, with the hair, and it's just licks. It's, I, it's not somebody I remember Kurt Angle as. Let me just put it like that. Um, we're seeing uh, Kurt Angle with kind of a littler um olympic chain uh, usually you know the olympic round part is um you the pendant the pendant part excuse me is a lot bigger it's not looking big at all and he also should come with two pendants um because it's about time i mean this is a darker gear that i'm really not a fan of but the head scan looks absolutely freaking amazing and he comes with the world title there's nothing wrong about that figure at all um, we're also going to be receiving, you guys probably seen this numerous of times, Evolution 3-pack. Very cool 3-pack. We're seeing Triple H with the hands, uh, the thumbs up and down. Batista, everything just looking cool on that battle pack. We've seen that many times, many times. Um, we're also seeing these figures. I don't know really what to call these little retros. We're seeing Solo on the Bloodline. And that's another gripe that I have. For Mattel this was released in July and we still do not have any of these figures it's not like I care about any uh, mini action figures but yeah I guess if you want to just complete as far as 
um, for years to come as far as history that Solo made with the Bloodline. I guess you could pick up that figure for that reason, but yeah, there's just been a lot of Bloodline changes. Solo has his own, and uh, um, yeah, Jimmy and Jay kind of got their own thing going on. You know, Yeet versus No Yeet is kind of what's still happening. Not really no much of No Yeet, but there's a lot of Yeet going on. Now, let me get a Yeet in the comment section, and also drop a like if you didn't subscribe so you can get more figure news. Uh, we're seeing this Ultimate Edition John Cena. Okay, Mattel, you have time. You have time to change the stupid decision because why the heck are we going to be seeing a thug life John Cena over the middle ruthless aggression with the WWE World Championship. Now we've seen a lot of modern day Cena attire. So the orange uh, Ultimate Edition John Cena is something that um, I don't want to see. It's something that I don't think many people want to see. But af uh, out of all out of all choices, I do not think the fans voted for this Thug Life John Cena at all. Um, but yeah, it just kind of is pretty stupid to me that we're not going to even be seeing, uh, the jersey. I mean, hopefully we see the jersey. Even if we do see the jersey, it doesn't make sense because they cannot add any New York Knicks logos on the jersey. So it's really a stupid decision from Mattel picking this as the fan favorite, fan takeover. I don't think the fans even voted for this crap. Um, but yeah, that's something we're going to be seeing. They need to be make changes right away on that. We're seeing a Big Boss Man Ultimate Edition, which is pretty cool. Um, if you ask me, we're seeing a Bam Bam Bigelow. He got a screaming head scan. That That's dope to me. I don't really have too much to say on uh, these figures. They come with a lot of accessories. I don't know what more you would want from uh, Legends figures like this. And, you know, this is not my time. So I really don't know everything that was captured, if it was well or or if it wasn't, I just know from my visual pre representation um, from these figures, the boxes look amazing. You got a two-pack box as well. And yeah, just some um, all-around great Legends figures in my opinion. We're, we're, everybody is getting this CM Punk, I'm pretty sure. Um, I really don't need to talk about anything from this figure. Everything was captured very well. as well. And here he is. Here he is. The Great Muda Ultimate Edition Standard and Chase is what they say. Um, did I flip? Yeah, I've been flipping through um, the visual representations. Um, but yeah, this is the great mood I'm talking about. He comes with the green mist. I don't know what the other great mood we were just looking at. But yeah, this was released older um, as far as uh, visual representation. But we got the red. Red looks amazing. I'm not really a fan of the black um, too much. But yeah. As far as the red, you know, that's something I would pick up if I were into Legends figures. Um, not too much, not too much. He's not of my time. We also have the Damien Priest. I know we've seen a Battle Pack version of Damien Priest, but honestly, that Battle Pack version just looked like he was wearing a bra. And um, yeah, I just wasn't liking it at all. You know, Damien Priest was taking it a little too far um, as far as the bisexual Undertaker. I don't know if I'll be buying that Battle Pack at all especially since the battle pack does not come with senior money in the bank briefcase and yeah just wait for the ultimate edition don't buy that battle pack i know it might be released a lot earlier but yeah just wait for this damien priest he comes with screaming head scans just all around amazing figure as well we're seeing the rock ultimate edition as well screaming head scan L excuse me looks absolutely amazing i almost lost my breath right there but yeah this is probably the greatest Ultimate Edition rocks there is right now. This is amazing, man. We're also seeing the People's Championship um, from The Rock. And we got his little eyebrow raise. I don't know if he's actually trying to do an eyebrow raise. Or if that head scan right there is just supposed to be serious. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. We're seeing the Ultimate Edition of Finn Balor. It makes a lot of sense because Finn Balor is still on the Judgment Day. But still at the same time. Um, we don't know how for long. How you know, you know what I'm saying? We don't know how long this Finn Balor or Finn Balor in general be on the Judgment Day. Because this figure, um, I'm sorry, I didn't even go through when these figures were going to be released. Um, the CM Punk's already released um, early January, mid-January. Um, this one is going to be released probably December, December. 
Uh, Perk Angle, J January. Uh, anyway, anybody else? Carlito is another good one. January. A lot of these figures is early January, mid January um, is when these figures will be released. Just to let you guys know, the Solo Sokoa is probably going to be released. Um, I want to say late December. We got Ultimate Edition. Oh no, this is an Ultimate Edition. He's definitely being released in um, January as well. Late December, January. Yeah, I think I'm on topic. Um, but yeah, this uh, Finn Balor is amazing. I don't really like the smiling head scan. That's kind of goofy to me. Um, but yeah, maybe just a simple smile would have done it. We also got just, um, yeah, a scream. We're missing a screaming head scan. Mattel, you got time to finish this. A screaming head scan is much needed um, for this. I like the little bandana that this Finn Balor comes with. I think that's absolutely amazing. Um, we're seeing a screaming head scan from Solo Sokoa. So I don't know why they didn't add it to the Finn Balor. Finn Balor is somebody who when he goes to the top for a coup de gras he is definitely going to be yelling at somebody so it would have made sense um but yeah uh this solo is kind of outdated i really don't want any other solo sokoa action figures unless he is coming with a suit and tie that is kind of what solo has been trending for i mean i don't know if he's still doing that right now as we speak but i just know that is something solo has made a meme of himself out of we're seeing the normal black towel. He doesn't wear too much. Um, so, yeah, we're just seeing another regular attire. Just buy the Elite. Save your money. I guess if you want a screaming head scan from Solo Sokoa, that is something you might want to go ahead and just buy. But we're also seeing the top picks, Logan Paul. Uh, like I said again, this is um, probably going to be released in, uh, I want to say December. Maybe late December. A lot of these figures... Um, are going to be released very late, and I really don't understand it. Um, just a normal uh, Logan Paul. I would have liked to see Logan Paul maybe with another vibrant color, night, another vibrant attire. I don't know why we're seeing another just Wolverine yellow and black attire. Um, kind of doesn't make sense to me at all. We're seeing Ethan Page. Nothing really too much to say about that figure. Um, I guess the head scan is pretty good. Um, I, yeah, but that figure's not in any type of color. We're saying the Werewolf Jacob Fett 2. Now, this figure is definitely going to be released in probably February. They don't have any type of coloring going on for this uh, Jacob Fett 2. There's nothing. There's nothing that visual representation-wise we're seeing. Um, I just know they capture the dreads pretty well. The head scan is not the best choice. I would have liked a lot more serious. Jacob Fatu is a very serious person, a very serious um, wrestler, but and that's still a great figure. This is a, the type of head scan I would have liked to see on that Jacob Fatu. We're saying Tama, Tama Tonga. Tama Tonga, like I said, there's not too much to say about this Tama Tonga um, visual representation wise, but you know, a very amazing figure that um, it looks like right now, you know, in front of my two eyes. I don't know what type of color scheme they're going to be going with. You know, he wears a lot of red and black, so hopefully that shouldn't be too hard to capture. And as far as the shirt, I don't think that's going to be cloth at all, but still cool to just look at right now. Um, but yeah, this is possibly a figure that's going to be released in early. February I want to say like it's a long time guys it's a long time finally we are seeing early February a Naomi Elite don't know what type of attire they're going to be going for as far as color scheme um, I like the star in the middle of her chest. I like the long hair for Naomi. Um, just pretty cool figure all around. We got another Rikishi. Rikishi that is going to be revealed. I think this figure actually goes by Fat 2. But we all know him as Rikishi. I think he comes with a beanie that looks like a new scope right there. I don't think I ever seen anything like that. Or if that's um, a part of his hair. I think it's um, some type of beanie though. That's a pretty cool figure right there. We're saying Exine. Uh, uh, Axiom, Axiom, excuse me. Um, very colorful figure right here. Uh, I don't know too much about him. I like that he comes with new head sculpts. It's kind of the LA Knight uh, fing fingers that are going on right there. We're saying pretty cool. Um, Exom, Exiom. Uh, excuse me. I don't really know how to say his name. Um, but yeah, he's possibly coming out. I want to say yeah. Uh, um, probably in January. I want to say in the middle of January. Lexus King. Okay, a lot of these guys I'm not too familiar with. 
I don't know if they wrestle in NXT, so please apologize. I really like the skull. That skull with the crown on his knee pad is amazing to me. Um, but yeah, I don't know too much about this guy, so I'm not going to state my opinion. But I do know a lot about Jade Cargill. Jade Cargill Elite. This is amazing. I wish they would have added Jade Cargill with the uh, Women's NXT Championship. But, you know, this figure was one of her first. So, you know, she's not going to come with that right away. Um, very great. Very great. I'm definitely going to be picking this women's figure up. I don't buy too many women's figures. I, in general, I haven't been buying a lot of figures. But this Jade Cargill is a must-have. To me, this is an Elite right here. Elite 116. She comes with her little finger poses. We see the finger. And wow. Wow. That's amazing. That's pretty cool. I think that's a new sculpt. The, what they're doing with the women. I still don't like how uh, small the waist are for the women. They, Like I said from my last figure news, they can't hold championships around their waist the right way, man. And that kind of pisses me off. Um, but yeah, we're seeing her nails. Like she's actually got nails uh, molded onto her. That's amazing, but that's something different for the women's action figures. We're seeing uh, Flying Brian. Pillman, man, look at that. I think we've seen a flying Brian Pillman before. Uh, he didn't do too well uh, money-wise. He didn't, he, you know, I would see him a lot sitting in shelves. Let me know if that's the case for you guys. Um, this figure really doesn't stand out to me at all. I like the championship he comes with. I like the director. Um, little, uh, what do you call that? Um, it's little director um, piece. And he comes with the more plastic. Uh, yeah, not too much to say about this figure right there. He's coming in the set with Jay Cargill. We got a Kari Singh. This figure is going to be released in late January, man. That is insane to me. I'm not really a big fan of Kari Singh anyway. She's kind of a sloppy look to me. Um, just the hair, just the... Uh, um, attire, I'm really not a fan of her, I really like this, um, umbrella though, the umbrella is probably the best part for this figure to me, but yeah, it's pretty cool, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, please, okay, Mattel, this is a late, this is a very late figure that is gonna be released in January, yeah, this figure is gonna be released very late, we're not gonna be seeing the awesome truth t-shirts um yeah that's kind of a bummer to me but it's still cool that we're seeing this r-truth i don't really like the head scan i feel like we could have seen a better hair sculpt too i don't know what they're doing with the hair we don't get to see too much i kind of have a r-truth that looks like this already with um a little bit of blonde hair added but yeah, this is kind of basic to me. I don't think this needed to be an elite. Um, like I said, maybe with the Awesome Truth shirt, it would just top the figure. They still have time to do that. We are seeing the Rock Elite 115 Final Boss Attire. That looks like a new microphone right there. We're seeing the Rock with um, some shades. It looks like a little bit of a different type of shade. Um, also, the Versace... Um, vest on him yeah this rock is amazing man this, this, this looks amazing this looks amazing i'm not gonna talk too much about that this cm punk is great too um this is coming out early january spider-man gear cm punk i'm loving the cm punks that are being released but if we can release a lot of these cm punks and you know cm punk literally just um started making his uh reveal in wwe return again this year and it's crazy how many figures he's getting mattel you guys can do the same for other superstars but yeah i think this is a um about it i'll have to talk about as far as figure news i just wanted to keep you guys updated on um these figures that are going to be released a lot late and mattel if you're watching this or anybody um who could hit up mattel and send him this video just please let them know that you know a lot of these figures we want to see released a lot earlier and a lot of these figures we want um a lot more accessories for and just you know honestly a lot of different better head scans you know there's a lot of changes that need to happen but definitely if you made it this far make sure you guys leave a like leave a comment subscribe if you're new to join the family too and daily fam i am out